The U0116 error code might seem like just another light on your dashboard, but it is a testament of big issues coming the way of your car, if it has not landed already. This is a generic communication system diagnostic trouble code, that applies to most vehicle makes and models. This code means that the coolant temperature control module, CTCM, and other control modules on the vehicle are not communicating with each other. This is very dangerous. One or two of the following will definitely happen to your car, if this code or its symptoms are continuously ignored. 1. Superheating of coolant. When communication fails, coolant temperatures can spike, potentially reaching 250 degrees Fahrenheit, that is, 121 degrees Celsius or higher. This excessive heat can break down the coolant, making it ineffective at protecting your engine. 2. Head gasket damage. Prolonged overheating can cause the head gasket to fail, leading to oil and coolant leaks and possibly mixing, which can ruin your engine. One of the major physical signs to know your gasket has been fried is foaming coolant. This is caused by the air pockets formed when air sip into your engine coolant via the edges after severe overheating. 3. Complete engine failure. High temperatures can warp metal components, damage the pistons, and ultimately lead to a seized engine, a costly and often terminal problem for the engine. This happens especially for Asian cars, they rarely survive this severe overheating. 4. Poor or no car cabin heating. Another overlooked issue is the impact on cabin heating. The coolant not only cools the engine but also helps warm the air for your car's heater. If the coolant system isn't working properly, you could end up with insufficient heat in the cabin, leaving you cold on winter days. This happens because the system fails to provide the necessary warm coolant to heat the air blowing into your cabin. Also, when your top cylinder gasket is attacked, it will allow air to sip into the coolant, forming air pockets that will hinder the effective heat transfer and conduction of the coolant to warm your car cabin during cold periods. No, we don't want any of these mechanical calamity meeting your car, and that is why we have made this video. So, stick around as we break down how to solve this error code correctly, and also teach you other ways you will save your precious car from engine coolant problem, and maintain a comfortably warm cabin always. We are master fixers. We help you fix your car. And our video lessons will save you both stress, time, and money from anywhere in the world. Please subscribe to our channel. The primary function of coolant is to absorb excess heat from the engine during operation, to prevent the engine from overheating. By doing this, the coolant itself acquires the heat and becomes hot. The same hot coolant that has absorbed heat from the engine is directed to the heater core, which is a small radiator located inside the car's HVAC system, typically under the dashboard. As the hot coolant flows through the heater core, the HVAC system's blower motor forces air over the heated fins of the heater core. This air is then warmed up and blown into the cabin, providing heat. The temperature of the air entering the cabin is controlled by blend doors within the HVAC system. These doors mix air from the heater core with cooler air from the outside or the air conditioning system to achieve the desired cabin temperature. That reminds me, when last did you change your cabin air filter? I mean the one ahead of your blower motor. Now if you are thinking why your car is either overheating, or not cooling the cabin properly, you have the hidden demon whispered as U0116 fault code. And you really need to focus, to avoid unforeseen circumstances that may result in costly or irreparable damage to your engine, and inability to warm your car cabin in the cold weather. Although the U0116 error code relates to loss of communication between the coolant temperature control module, the coolant temperature control module does not perform its task alone. It depends on a key component known as, coolant temperature sensor. This sensor is the main watchdog. The optimal operating temperature for most engines is between 195 degrees Fahrenheit and 220 degrees Fahrenheit, that is, 90 degrees Celsius to 105 degrees Celsius. This sensor continuously sends signals on the temperature condition of the engine to the coolant temperature control module. This module processes the data from the sensor and ensures that the engine operates within the optimal temperature range. It controls components like the radiator fan and thermostat. If the temperature range is out of expected, it alerts the ECM to take action, such as adjusting the cooling fan speed or fuel mixture. If this module or his spy agent fails, 
the engine might not receive the correct cooling, and this will lead to overheating. Let us look at the causes of the U0116 fault code. 1. Malfunctioning coolant temperature sensor. A malfunctioning coolant temperature will not give the correct reading of the engine temperature. If the sensor gives incorrect readings, the ECM might not respond properly, leading to potential overheating or cooling failures. 2. Faulty coolant temperature control module. This could result from wear and tear or electrical issues, preventing the module from receiving or processing data correctly. 3. Damaged wiring or connectors. Corrosion, fraying, or disconnections in the wiring can disrupt the signal between the ECM and the control module. It is also important to note that some cars may not throw the U0116 error code, but the symptom is often exhibited irrespective. So much as looking out for the error code, is looking out for your car for the following symptoms. 1. Check engine light. This is your first warning sign. 2. Engine overheating. If the cooling system isn't managed properly, your engine temperature could soar past 220 degrees Fahrenheit or 105 degrees Celsius, risking severe damage. 3. Cabin heating issues. If your heater blows cold air even when set to warm, it could be due to incorrect coolant flow, often a result of the U0116 fault code. So now that we know all these, how do we fix the problem, and also prevent it from happening again? 1. Inspect wiring and connectors. Look for signs of damage, corrosion, or loose connections in the wiring between the ECM and the coolant temperature control module. Repair or replace the damaged sections, and ensure all connections are strongly fitted. 2. Check the coolant temperature control module and sensor. Test these components to ensure they are functioning correctly and not providing incorrect data. A malfunctioning sensor needs to be replaced to ensure accurate temperature readings and proper engine cooling. 3. Replace the coolant temperature control module. If this module is faulty, replacing it is crucial to restoring normal operation. Also, don't forget to check the coolant levels and quality. If your coolant has been compromised, flush the system and refill it with fresh good quality coolant to maintain proper engine temperature. Other steps address overheating and cabin heating issues. 1. Use the right coolant. Proper coolant mixtures is usually a 50-50 blend of water and antifreeze, this antifreeze does not only lower the freezing point to around minus 34 degrees Celsius or minus 29 degrees Fahrenheit, to save the engine of people in temperate regions, it also raises the boiling point to approximately 126 degrees Celsius or 259 degrees Fahrenheit, under normal pressure, allowing the coolant to withstand higher temperatures without boiling, which helps in preventing overheating to save people in both tropical and temperate regions. One of the biggest mistake most drivers and car owners make regarding coolant is using water solely as coolant. Your engine may not speak to you directly, but your engine is telling me to tell you that water alone is not good. In cold season, those who are in temperate regions like America and Europe are at greater risk when using water or wrong coolant for the engine. Have you ever wondered what will happen to your engine if you try starting your car when the coolant, in this case, water is frozen at 0 degrees Celsius? Let me give you an insight. Water expands by approximately 9% when it freezes at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, potentially cracking the engine block, radiator, or hoses. The water pump can also be damaged if it tries to operate while the coolant is frozen, risking mechanical failure. Once the ice melts, restricted coolant flow can lead to overheating, as the coolant's boiling point is only 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is easily exceeded in normal engine operation. One of the major causes of car engine destruction in tropical region is overheating, and this is because they use water mainly as coolant. Also, proper coolant blend includes corrosion inhibitors and mild lubricants that protect the engine and cooling system from rust and scale, which can otherwise clog components like the heater core and lead to overheating and inability of your car to warm the cabin effectively. So, when you think of why your car is continually suffering overheating, an inability to cool your cabin in cold season, think correct coolant. If you don't know a better one, we can recommend one for you if you ask in the comments section. 2. Check coolant levels. Ensure the coolant is at the proper level and top it up if necessary. Low coolant levels mean there is not enough heated coolant circulating through the heater core, reducing the effectiveness of the cabin heating. 
The coolant system is designed to hold the coolant in place for a while without loosing coolant. If you notice that your coolant level has dropped significantly then, inspect for leaks. 3. Look for any visible signs of coolant leaks in the radiator, hoses, and engine block. Ensure your radiator and reservoir cap are intact. This is also especially for Asian cars designed with pressurized cooling system. You can drive VW, Audi or some German cars for a whole year without coolant system caps, and only suffer occasional evaporation, but never make that mistake in Asian cars like Toyota, Nissan, Honda etc. as you will be pricing a new engine. Replace broken and leaking hoses. Use the right clip to hold hoses in place to the radiator and other mechanical parts. 4. Test the thermostat. Make sure the thermostat is functioning properly, or replace it. If the thermostat is stuck closed, it can cause the engine to overheat by preventing coolant from flowing through the radiator. Conversely, if the thermostat is stuck open, the engine may run cooler than normal, and the cabin heating may be insufficient as the coolant doesn't get hot enough. 5. Ensure your coolant pump is functioning properly or replace it if faulty. Failing pump affect coolant flow. Problems with coolant flow directly impact the heater core's function, leading to inadequate cabin heating, and might lead to overheating. 6. Flush your heater radiator and heater core of any blockage to achieve good coolant circulation and car cabin heating. 7. Check to see that your blower motor is functioning correctly, else change it. Sometimes the blower motor itself may not be the problem, but the resistor or even cabin air filter. Replace any of them at due time. 8. Bleed your coolant if you notice air bubbles inside the coolant, and replace your gasket, very very important. 9. Check your heater control valve. If your heater control valve is faulty and stock, you will notice that one of your heater core hoses from the engine is hot, while the other is cold, and this is because coolant heat is not being properly transferred into your heater core. You will notice this when you turn your heater on and watch it. A good one will move when you turn on your heater from the HVAC control, but a faulty one will be stocked. Change it if you notice it is stocked when you turn on your heater.